Meet these 150 aspiring scientists. They're active environmentalists and just average teens, but they're doing extraordinary things and gathering to share their results at Wheelabrator's annual environmental symposium. It's part of Wheelabrator Technology's ongoing commitment to the community, environmental stewardship, and employee volunteerism. This is something that really distinguishes Wheelabrator from, from others. We really want to be part of the community, and being part of the community means being part of education. Each of the students who participate in Wheelabrator's annual environmental event come from one of 15 middle schools nationwide that partner with a Wheelabrator facility. The symposium is a fantastic platform to be able to express a desire, uh, a thought process, innovation about how to tackle solutions for the environmental problems we're all facing today. The best thing about it is it's generated by kids. Under the guidance of local educators and with the support of Wheelabrator employees, each student team identifies an environmental challenge facing their community at the start of the school year and develops a long-term solution. We can always count on Wheelabrator to help us with, uh, with the projects. Every year we come up with a topic and sometimes there are expenses that, that we incur that we normally wouldn't be able to uh, afford and uh, Wheelabrator not only provides the financial support but uh, people help us too. The in-kind contributions are priceless to have someone come in and help us build uh, our owl houses or, or dig our burrows is, uh, really means a lot to the students. Uh, they provide positive role models as well. The students unveil the results of their year-long project during a presentation to their peers at the Spring Symposium in Broward County, Florida. It was kind of like thrilling. It was cameras flashing, lights everywhere. Environmental topics vary. So does the approach each team uses when making their presentations to the VIP panel. The Wheelabrator Symposium is designed to supplement traditional classroom instruction. Wheelabrator has been a constant source of help at my classroom. I, I look forward to them coming every year, supporting me financially, morally, personally, every way around. Um, they really show the children a career side where I could do the school side. They really show them how they can step out, use their skills in the workplace. Um, they talk a lot about their presentation skills when we get to the practicing, how public speaking, time management, all the different things that are going to help them when they get out of school and really function in the work world. The symposium challenges students to combine communication skills and environmental awareness. If you take out one piece of thread from an ecosystem, the whole thing just collapses. And it encourages these student scientists to think outside the box. You're actually getting your hands dirty, you're actually doing stuff, and you're not just, you know, sitting there reading a book or anything, and you're getting active with it, and you're learning more about your environment hands-on. Teachers say this type of alternative learning promotes creative thinking and urges students to cultivate community partnerships. If I were to call up a state representative and, and speak to what the children speak to, I'll get yes, okay, okay. If the students are calling and they make the same phone call, it makes the state representatives, the politicians, the policymakers, the businessmen sit up and go, hey, 12-year-old's talking to me. I need to get involved. This is important. Though separated by states, each team's goal is the same. The environment is in danger and I need and we need to help. The issues that they deal with may be different based upon where they live, but it comes from the same macro issue, and that is uh, the impacts to our environment of the things that we do just in our everyday lives. And when it comes to confronting the Earth's greatest environmental challenges, these kids know strength is in numbers. You're only one person, there's only so much you can do, but if everyone does what they can, it's great. When you're in a group and it's more of you guys, you can accomplish more and it's easier for you than just to be by yourself. No matter how old you are, no matter you know how tall or short, you can impact the environment. That persistence puts these students in a league of their own. It's sort of like with baseball. You have pitchers, you have outfielders, you have infielders. Well, I have kids who are great with technology, kids who are great writers, kids who are great researchers. Everyone has a different skill set they bring to the table. And it's my job as the manager is to put them all together and just to make sure we get the best product out of them. Whether facing stage fright. At first I was nervous because I was scared that I was going to mess up in front of everybody. Or a fear of the unfamiliar. It taught me to work with people that 
I don't usually hang out with and some of these people in Green Squad became one of my best friends. I learned friendship skills. Um, you know, you have to live with them, you gotta love them. The symposium is proof practice pays off. Once I got up there and did my first script, I got it down right away and then it wasn't as scary as I thought it would be. It was a lot of work, but looking back, it was well worth it. And it shows some of life's most important lessons are learned outside the classroom. We had so much fun. We're really honored to be able to be here this year. And it was like kind of a bonding experience for all of us. And we learned a lot. I believe if kids were to band together, which environment symposium is exactly what we did, that a lot is accomplishable. After hitting a home run at the symposium, the Wheelabrator teams boarded buses for a day of celebration at Marlins Park in Miami. It's awesome. It's, it's amazing. I, I love the Marlins. Science and math abound in baseball, and physicists see striking parallels between America's favorite pastime and the students' experiences on the symposium stage. It's almost like when you're up to bat, you're on the stage. You can strike out or you can hit a home run when you're on stage. They're on the mound. The batter's in the box. It's time for their pitch. Do they get nervous? Do they go easy and just throw an outside ball? or do they go for it knowing what they need to know and throw it straight at the strike zone? They got on that stage, they knew their material, they knew they knew it, and they performed when they got up there. They connected and knocked it over the fence. And I witnessed that several times today. The Wheelabrator Symposium experience gave the students a new perspective on the game. They know firsthand the pressure players feel and understand the importance of a team. We were very supportive of each other. We squeezed our, uh, squeezed each other's hands. It's not just us alone, everyone supporting us. Even if they strike out, you know, they mess up or they stumble on the line or the technology doesn't work, they got nine other people that are gonna cheer them on no matter how the presentation goes. The Wheelabrator Symposium experience was a game changer for the teens. They learned while talent may win games, teamwork wins championships. Go!